Well, hey there, and welcome back to Doing It With Jason. I'm Jason, and today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to hinge a cabinet door. I have my pretend door to show you guys. How to do it without a template, without jigs, just a good old fashioned screw gun, Forstner bit, self-centering drill bit, and a pencil and a tape measure. Simple as that, and you'll get professional results every time. And be sure if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notified each time We'll have new videos on cabinet making, painting, finishing, you name it, we do it. So let's get started. Okay, so now these hinges right here are the bloom hinges. They're made for cabinets. They have a little inset bottom section that's gonna have to go inside the wood. So these are gonna set in just like so, but inside and recessed. And that is where the Forstner bit comes in handy. This is awesome. And as always, all the links are down below where you can get this stuff on Amazon. It's awesome. They throw me a few pennies uh, for using the links, but I'm only using the good stuff in there. So feel free to order them down there. Um, okay, so this is an inch and three eighths Forstner bit. Okay. Now this cup is about the same size and it's gonna fit right snugly in there. Uh, the main thing you're going to want to do is it's going to have to be set back about an eighth of an inch offset. So what I like to do normally is I will take my tape measure and then measure back about three inches down or so from the edge of the door. Now of course make sure this is the back side of your door, the other side is our front. I'm going to go three inches in and then I'm going to come out about seven eighths of an inch. And now I'm going to just get those marks get them all nice and make a nice little plus sign there. And I will do the same to the other side because generally when you use one of these hinges, you have to use two uh, because one just does not work. That'd be a really wonky hinge. So we're gonna do the same thing. Got my plus sign there. Uh, and now I'm gonna take my Forstner bit and my drill. This is the inch and three eighths. And then I know uh, how deep I have to go. Generally you want a half inch depth for these cups. Uh, and you can always just verify yours is the same, that you have the half inch clearance, uh, just as I do here. And now it's gonna sit in a half inch. So generally when I have this Forstner bit flush and buried into my wood, I don't go any further than past flush because it could come out the other side. And I'll show you more about that. So you're gonna line up on your crosshair right there and start drilling. Now of course you might want to clamp this door down, uh, but I'm using double stick tape. And periodically you could stop, take a look, make sure you're not too deep and continue. And there we are. That's dusty. Nice and in there. Now do the same thing and repeat to the other hole. Not hole, crosshairs. All right, that should be perfect. Now for the next part, you're gonna need both hinges and put them into the hole you just made. Okay, so now you have your hinges just set into the hole and all you need is a scrap piece of plywood or a level, whatever you've got handy, and you just let it hit the hinge and it straightens them out and makes them perfectly parallel automatically for you. There's no double checking it with a square, there's no checking all this and blah, blah, blah. No mess, no frills, just all it takes. You will get it nice and centered. So now you will take your self-centering little drill Bit, which links in the description as well for this thing. It's really cool the way it works. It has a spring loaded and it centers a drill bit. So with my thumb firmly on the back of the door and my fingertips on the front of this little straight edge, I'm gonna make sure these hinges are in the cups that we just drilled out for them. I'm apply pressure going this way, uh, just not too much pressure. You don't wanna start bending your straight board and then use this little self-centering drill bit. And you could do all four at once. Take your board off and then you could actually look and see your holes nice and centered 
and ready to install these bad boys. Okay, so next you're gonna take your screws that came with your hinges and switch your drill out for a Phillips. And then you're just gonna set them right in there. And I believe these are 5 8 uh, drill uh, screws. And just nice and slowly screw them in. And that is all it takes. Do it to the other side. Your hole's already there. So everything is gonna line up perfectly for you. You don't need to waste any money on a jig. And voila, hinged and ready. Now if I could release the double stick tape, might be harder than it looks. Oh, that's some good stuff. Ooh. That's some Gorilla double stick tape. Links in the description for that too. As of now, this stuff works awesome. And that's on raw plywood. So our pretend door is now beautifully hinged with some bloom hinges, might I add. What the heck, we're gonna link those down there too. Just have a free for all. No, these are all the products I definitely stand behind and really, really enjoy using. Bloom, lifetime warranty on these bad boys. If they ever break, love them, love them, love them. And they're soft close, which I have a video on their soft close hinges. I'll have it linked at the end of the video and you guys can check it out. But uh, yeah, other than that, very easy, very affordable. You don't need any kind of special tools or jigs, just this and a few drill bits and such. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this really informative. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't, because then I, I want to know, you know, did this suck? Do I suck? Just let me know. But uh, yeah, we'll be making another video soon. And by we, uh, it's just me. And well, maybe the kids, they're off for the summer, so they're going to be hanging out. So maybe occasionally one of my little ones will walk up and We'll have a conversation or two, and it's a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and bye.